Okay, well, there's not really much to say about this level. You know, just follow the usual stuff. Um, it's not really that hard. Cause it, I thought the space levels would be a lot more difficult, but you know, this one was really easy. It, it, it only took me like I think it was like one or two tries. You know, something like that. But anyway, you'll probably die the most on those um, red and green platform things, whatever they're called, like swapping platform thing, colour thing, whatever. You probably die on those the most because so you got to be really careful when you look at those. Because don't you know? Cause you end up good jumping on it, but it'll turn red just as you land on it and you'll fall down. So you know, just be careful about those. I have nothing to say about this level, just go look at the little previous water level if you want any tips. This one can be quite tricky. What is you, you never lose your hullabuggers. There's three total of three hullabuggers in the level, and don't lose a single one of them. You know you'll need all the masks because you need to to get through it within the time. I've never gotten through this level without the invincible. You know having an invincible Aku Aku. I've never ever done it. I don't think it's even possible. I think it's supposed to because I kept missing the platinum time by like about five seconds, and no matter how hard I could try, I could never do it. But when I got the um, what's it called the I can just speed for the last bit, you know, you can just speed for it really well, so be careful and avoid, obviously you're going to, might lose that hack haku because of those damn tribal twats, uh, excuse my French, but you know, yeah, and if you only know why I entered the menu there, I needed to scratch my hair, yes, anyway, yeah, so here you go, you just charge through and that's the level done really, once you've got that down, you know, the rest is easy. Once again, I have nothing to say about this level. If you want to look at any tips, just go look at the previous flying level because the developers were lazy and didn't add any new enemies or anything new to every single flying level. Screw them.
this one wasn't too difficult at all. Um, yeah, it's I actually did. I think this one was easier than the previous space level, a sub space. I think it was that one was. Uh, I believe so anyway. But yeah. Um, you know, because once you've bad, if you've got the platinum and ace of space, you've pretty much got the hang of you know all the enemies that appear in the level and all that, so you can get through it quite easily. You know, one little tip I'll give is you know, at the beginning, just collect the clock and run straight under the um, floating electric guy straight away because he won't actually trigger the electric, and if you wait for him or jump on him, you'll lose a valuable second or two. So yeah, 